Paris and welcome back to another video. So today's one is going to be all about the new Kaya Shadow eyeshadow palette. Or is it Kaya Shadow palette? I don't know. Her eyeshadow palette. You guys know what I'm talking about. This one is the Holiday 2016 palette. So I thought I would sit down, give you guys a little quick tutorial, give you guys a little first impressions of reviews, some swatches, you know, all that good stuff is going to be in this video. So if you want to see what I think about this palette, definitely keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos. Videos. it is completely free to do that guys how much does it cost zero yes it costs nothing so subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and let me know what you want to see guys come on tell me do you want to see more makeup videos do you want more vlogs do you want more chatty videos let me know please 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 but anyway guys I'm going to get into this video if you want to see what I think of the palette you can watch that first if you just want to see how I achieve this look you can fast forward to that as well it's all up to you but I'm gonna stop talking now and get into the There's video. There's nine different shades in here and to be honest, obviously this is her third palette and I have been very, very, very skeptical to buy her eyeshadow palettes just because they are so expensive. I think this retails for about $42, which is probably about 35 pounds so it's not a very cheap palette at all it's very very expensive so when i saw the bronze palette and the burgundy palette i was just like i have something very similar to this at home so there's no point in me spending my money and getting it so when i saw this one the holiday one i was really really impressed because it looked like it's got quite a wide variety of colors and i really thought it was a really really pretty eyeshadow so when it first came overall i was really really shocked at the size i don't know why but in my head i thought it would be a lot bigger on her snapchat and on like um videos and reviews that i've watched in my opinion just looked a lot bigger the palette is quite small um you do get a decent amount of sizes of each individual eyeshadow but overall i just think the palette is quite small this one comes with a mirror as well um and the mirror is really really good it's a nice clear mirror and it is really good to use to apply your makeup so i do like that her palettes have um mirrors now but yeah just overall when i first got it it was really 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 small so there is five shimmery shades and then there's four matte shades and let me just tell you guys these eyeshadows are super 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 pigmented she did really really well when it came to that like literally that is one swatch and look at that it is so so pigmented and if i to swatch a matte one again very very pigmented eyeshadows they're really really creamy and they are easy to blend um i will say that these two shades up here so that is chestnut and sugar cookie are not the best shades i would say for my complexion for women of color for dark skinned women i think they just look a little bit more on the ashy side on me i have popped it a little bit on my upper brow bone i put this shade here on my um underneath my brow bone but i just think i probably wouldn't use these as much but all the rest i think i could work with them so overall the quality of the eyeshadows is very good quality it's not like you're paying 42 dollars and you're going to get an eyeshadow palette that is completely shit it is a really good eyeshadow palette but guys i'm going to be very very truthful and honest i love morphe brushes eyeshadows and i love makeup geek eyeshadows and i think in comparison they're on the same level and probably Morphe and Makeup Geek are a little bit better as well. So I think you can get similar shades um, in other palettes and similar shades for a lot, 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 lot cheaper. So if you do not want to spend the money, you are not missing out on anything significant um, by not getting this palette. But if you do want to invest in a eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette and you've been thinking about it for a while, you're not going to be disappointed. Her eyeshadows are good quality and um, I just think the price is definitely way, way, way too extreme. You are basically just paying for the name and some people are okay with that. You're paying for the name, the design, the look, you know, it's Kylie Jenner so you are going to have to expect to pay the extra cost and obviously it's made in america and stuff like that so that always makes it more expensive but um it's up to you to decide whether you want to part with 42 dollars or not but like i said if you do get the palette you will not be disappointed okay guys so that is it for the review part of the video like i said it's a really really good palette um you're not going to be disappointed when it comes but i just think 42 dollars is a lot of money and i do think there's a lot of dupes or a lot of similar eyeshadow palettes out there for a lot cheaper 
cheaper so it's up to you to decide if you're gonna purchase the palette or not i do think there's some still available on her site if they're not available individually you can get in the like bundle sets that she was doing i checked today and i definitely know that those are still available so if you still want to get the palette you still can but anyway guys i'm going to move on and show you how i created this eyeshadow look so if you want to see that stay tuned okay guys so i've already primed my eyelids and added um makeup geeks cocoa bear just for my transition shade so obviously i'm going to start off with using these eyeshadows i'm going to be taking this shade here and i'm going to apply that all over my lid <laughs> just take this shade which is a matte shade and just apply that to my crease shades here and I'm going to run these on the lower lash line this shade here which is frosty and I'm going to pop that into my inner tear duct this shade here and I'm just going to run that underneath my brow bone so that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment down below please guys let me know if you've actually tried this eyeshadow palette and what you think or if you tried any of her eyeshadow palettes as well because I am kind of contemplating getting some more stuff because I am kind of a Kardashian Jenner fan at heart so you know I'm a little bit tempted to get some more stuff but just let me know what you think of all her other stuff and um yeah that is it for today's video thank you once more for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys